Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 77 of Be With Me. We're in 1 Corinthians chapter 16. It's the last chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians, and I'm going to call today Putting Your Spiritual Big Boy Pants On, because that's what Paul does as he's wrapping up his letter. Yesterday, we talked about wide doors being open to his ministry, but with adversity. We'll talk about that today. So he says, work when the doors are wide uh, because we won't last forever. So there's a timing part of this because Paul's heading to Rome and it's a one-way trip to Rome eventually for him. Here it is. This is from chapter 16, two verses today, uh, one about Apollos and one about working uh, in a watchful way and acting like men. Here it is, 1612. Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to visit you with uh, with the other brothers. But it was not at all his will to come now. He will come when he has opportunity. And then our big verse for today, verse 13. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. faith act like men. Be strong. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Put your big boy pants on. All right, so let's first do uh, verse 12, where this is about Apollos. Remember, Apollos, he was used as the foil for the people doing the wrong thing in Corinth, which is, I follow Paul, I follow Apollos. And then he says in chapter 1, is Christ divided? What is Apollos? He's just a, a servant, even though he's a gifted teacher and probably a better teacher than Paul. He's a servant assigned by God. And Paul says, I planted, Apollos watered, but... God gave the growth. And then he says, sobering words for Paul and sobering words for Paul. Neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything. That's because he's pointing to God. The gifted are nothing. God is the main thing. God, it's God that does the growth. So just a big sobering word uh, that, that is used by using Apollos as a foil. All right, so the main passage today is this this big boy pants verse, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. All right, so let's start with this. Be watchful. So there's bad stuff out there. There's bad theology, bad people, uh, temptations, and most uh, concerning, sobering for all of us, is in 1 Timothy 4.16, Paul says to Timothy, his junior, uh, his, you know, his mini-me version, he says, keep a close watch on yourself. So, you know, we, first of all, there's enemies, en- enemies without, but then the, the big thing in Christianity is watch the main enemy, which could be, you know, looking at you in the mirror. And he, then he says to Timothy also, keep watch on the, on the teaching, on the theology. So first of all, you know, let's be careful with ourselves. Then Hebrews 13, 17 says that leaders are keeping watch over your souls. So I'm using that, and the rest of the New Testament talks about a uh, uh, similar concept is don't just watch out for yourself, but watch out for the people around you. So put your big boy pants on and then help others put their big boy pants on, you know, making sure they're doing the right things. And then uh, 1 Peter 5, 8, I thought of it today, be sober-minded, be, be watchful same word your adversary the devil well who's he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour so my wife and i like to hike in a particular park need need near our house and if i were to say that oh by the way there's a pride of lions in the park wild lions roaming loose well it would change everything it would change the way we walk it would change the way we keep watch. It would it would make sure that whoever was with us would keep in step. There'd be no stragglers, believe me. Um, we would share burdens in a way of, you know, watch keeping. And it would even change how many people you would walk with. You would never go alone. It's like the Christian, uh, you know, any any Christian that thinks there's, there's spiritual lone rangerism, um, you know, a good question for them would be, well, what about the lions? So then he says, you know, just stand firm in the faith, be steadfast, be immovable, abound in the work. Ab- absolutely, that's from 1558. There's a wide door effect of work, but 
there are many adversaries. So put your spiritual, physical, relational, and disciplined big boy pants on. Be strong and be people of courage. That's why we need to continue the idea of building courage into one another. That's called encouragement. All right, and then be people of a position. Hold your position. Don't get eaten. Be, you know, fight for your faith, if you will. Uh, be people of the people because uh, a lot's at risk and we need to kind of stick together. Christians are the bravest people I know. They're the strongest people I know because they go to church every Sunday. They hear that you're not okay, even in the beginning. The first step is a big one. You're not okay. Your thinking is not okay. you got to change. Uh, and by the way, meantime, there's lions and there's risks without. Oh, and by the way, there's risks within. Watch on yourself. So watch for the lions and watch for the watch for yourself. Then you have this Lord who says, I kind of expect a lot out of you. Don't crumble. You can do it. Uh, do abounding work, effective work, despite adversaries and lions and laziness and fear and all that stuff. Oh, and by the way, how long? Uh, I just had a, ni- a dear 90 90- three-year-old Christian example die and she went all the way to the end she finished well she finished in the faith she showed that it could be done and you know, she's uh, she's a great example of this verb about acting like men I think is the is the point act like strong women so the encouragement today is be strong act like men and strong women watch yourself watch your thinking Watch your doctrine, watch your habits, and then watch out for the lions. Stand firm. So the bottom line today is let's put our big boy spiritual pants on. Put them on, keep keep them on, help others get their spiritual pants on. And how long? Let's do it to the end. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Thanks for listening.